Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am using my new camera to test it out, see how the quality of the footage will be. I am going to do a one disc challenge and we will see how that goes. See if I got enough time on the camera to film a whole 21 holes, but we'll see how that goes. I'm going to use only a fuse in this one disc challenge. If I get within circle, I will use my putters. Today I'm going to putt with P2s. It is cold. It's like 30 something degrees. This is my first throw. I didn't even get to warm up at all or anything like that. But this is my first throw of the day with the fuse. Let's see how this goes. Into the ground, so we're gonna have to get an upshot there. This will be quite interesting. Here we are with shot number two. A little upshot again. I can only use a fuse till I get to circle. See how this goes. Oh, wow. I ripped that too hard. I almost went OB, but a little upshot again. I'm still outside of circle here. So I will have to give it a little bit of a bid with the fuse all right so I am in circle now I will use my putter but it looks like I will be plus one on the hole number two Hole number two, 168 feet. Oh, uh, turn. I put way too much on it, too. We're going to have to get an upshot there from the ditch area. All right, so I'm going to need to find where I put where the disc landed here. All right, I see it. We are definitely still outside of circle. I'm probably off view right now of the camera, but that's all right. A little bit here with the fuse, of course, because I am not within circle. I will take that part though. <laughs> and there we go. That's a par. We are still plus one currently with the one disc challenge. So here we are. Hole number three, 282. Have the sun already getting set, and it's not even 3 o'clock yet. That's what we got to love about winter, right? Alright, this does flip a little bit, so I got to remember that. And I didn't put enough hyzer on it at all. So, we'll go see how that looks. Alright, so this is going to be a nice little upshot here. We will see how this goes. I don't know if I should just aim straight in the center there, take a chance. Or go right up, put a little hyzer on and go right to the right of it. Nope, I went right in the middle. That is okay. We have a putt for in circle one, so... Let's get par here. Alright, here we are with 
a putt for par again. We are still one over. I haven't putted with P2s in a while. And that is why. That's not why I used to love these things, but this will put us at two over, unfortunately, for my fuse only round. On to hole number four. Hole number four, 192. I'm going to have to take the right gap. Well, actually, I could just kind of throw it straight at it now that I think of it. Since it does flip. I do a turnover. I need to practice turnovers anyways. And I don't do those enough because I rely on my forehand. But because I can't forehand a fuse, there's no sense. I didn't... <laughs> Oh no, it stayed in, it stayed in, but we'll have to upshot with it. Like I said, I am still out of circle, because normally I would just try to jump putt with the putter right now, but we'll give this a little run at it. Uh, we're in. Let's get par here. And we will be two. Still be at two over. Alright, let's make this putt really quick. So we will be We are still Two over. We have holes we can catch that back. Hole number five. Three fifty-six. Par three. Low hanging ceiling. I gotta give myself some height, I think, to get further with this thing. And I gotta throw it on a little bit more hyzer because it will flip up. Not too bad. I think I threw it a little nose up, but I got up there. I felt really good. Alright, so for our second shot here. Just got to give a nice little bid up to it. Just like that. Right underneath the basket, that should save car, obviously, so we're still two over. Alright, so here is our car. That puts us again, like I said, well, keeps us at two over. Hole number six, 246. I am usually go the hyzer route with something a little bit more stable, but we will go up the gap and let it come back and slowly turn over. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is parked. I really like that shot there. All right, so I pretty much parked this. I really, really like that shot. That felt really good. And so I never do turnovers, and I really need to. This is why I like this one disc challenge, because it allows me to practice and figure out different shop opportunities that I wouldn't have seen before because I have my entire bag. But we are back down to one over. Hole number seven, 310 feet. We'll just gap it and let it turn over. Oh, I didn't put enough on it. I was worried I was gonna overturn it. That's gonna leave us a massive upshot. Hole number seven is always my um, hole that gets me, but oh well, we'll see how that goes. Here is my 
second shot. We'll see how this goes. I just gotta loft it right up underneath the basket. Oh no! I grip lock that. That's I think circle's edge, so I think we're still good, but ooh, that was not good. Alright, so this will be for par. It definitely is a tester, but that is all right. These are the putts that I need to learn to make. Because this is what slows me down. It probably doesn't help that I switch putters all the time, too. I got to find a putter that I absolutely love and just stick with it. And I... My... Famous putt is right off the cage. That's what always happens to me. But that is a bogey. We are back to being plus two. Hole number eight, 662 feet. Massive hole. Gonna have to try to get a full flight out of this. Just hyzer, let it flip up, and just travel. I gotta remember to throw in the air though. I gotta get a good launch angle here. <laughs> Nose it up because I threw it straight up, but it's a big hole. I'm still learning and I'm adjusting things with my um, form and everything else too. So we'll see how that goes. I'm debating or not to do a roller here or just do another big shot. I'm going to use this leaf as my foot. I'm sure a fuse can roll, right? You want to try it? Why not? It's a fun round anyways. Let's see if we can get the roller. <clears throat> nope. Failed that. That is alright though. Big shot for shot number three. As I said, we're going to try to get as many holes as we can in. Unfortunately, I do not have another memory card right now. Got to get one of those to get more recording. So here's shot number two, or three, so we have to get this parked. All right, that's going to be a big time tester, but I almost hit that tree. Unfortunately, we are in circle two, just outside of circle one. Like I said, if I'm in circle one, I will put my putter. If not, I have to use a fuse. This is to say par. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna even worry about grabbing my putter because obviously this is just a tap in, but that's another bogey. Unfortunately, that puts me at a plus three. Hole number nine, 270 feet. Put just a hyzer on it, let it flip up and go straight. That's what I'm hoping for. Fight through everything. All right, leaves me an upshot and a bid with the fuse. See how this goes. So I only have about 23 more minutes left on my card to film, so I'm probably only going to do the original, the original 18 to try to make sure I get at least a full 18 in. I'll take that. That's par. We still are at three over. Again. Here is for par, three over. On to hole number 10. Hole number 10, 211 feet. I'm gonna try to peer the gap and just let it fade, or not fade, sorry, turn over. <laughs> I hit a tree, but I somehow beat the limbs up there. We'll get a par. Here we go with my second shot again. Just 
I don't know if I want to run it hard at the basket or lay it up. Oh no, sit. That's a tester. <laughs> but let's make that putt. Let's let's stay at three. So obviously I kind of went for it there. Didn't work out as planned. I'm at circle's edge. So I will use a putter. We'll flip this thing over. All right, let's get this putt. Let's say par. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh no. That puts us at four over. But that's all right, it's all a learning experience. And a lot of fun to be honest. Hole number 11, 217 feet. Just flip it up and hopefully it just stay stable the whole way. Oh no, I threw it straight to the ground. Well, we'll have to do a little upshot and go from there. This will be quite the interesting upshot here. Gonna have to lean out. Obviously, I'll use a fuse because I'm in circle two. Oh, I almost got it. Almost got it. But that's all right. That's a par. We still are four over through 11. On a hole number 12. Hole number 12, 306. Behind the fence. Just give it a good rip. I gotta not reach back so high. That's the other thing I do all the time. Oh, that felt really good. Hey, I will take that shot. Whew, that felt good. Obviously, I'm still outside of circle one. We'll take a little stepper with the fuse. See how this goes. This will be quite interesting. All right, so that's par. Still up four. Yep, still, still up four. And there we go. Plus four. Hole number 13, 280 feet. Just throw it right up the gap. Hopefully, like I said, flip up and stay stable. Missed the tree. Oh no. No, 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 no. Alright, I'm gonna have to try to hit this gap. Let it just stay stable the entire way. Thank gosh it's a fuse because it's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> hit the post, let's go. That was a really nice shot. I really like that one. That's what the fuse is so good at. Just you hit, you pick a spot and you just shoot it down the gap. And that is a par. Still, we are plus four, but we'll see if we can get any of those back. Hole number 14, 231 feet. I really want to ace one. Again, it's a fuse, so I should just throw it straight at the basket. Uh, that's a putt. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, let's see if we can get this birdie. Got it. That puts me back to three. Three over. So I decided I should have enough in there to get all 21 holes. We're not gonna skip out on this. Hole 15, 221. It's towards the left. So I can't put a whole lot on here because I gotta make sure it fits.
spades. <laughs> that actually felt really good. We'll see where that ended up. Awesome. Check that out. I parked it. I'm starting to really like this disc. That's another birdie. That's back to back. That puts me up uh, two over only now. So let's get this back and get back to even. Hole number 16, 273 feet. We're going to have to let this thing just turn over. Oh, it looks like another tree fell. We got a lot cleaning up to do. It is the fall time. Turn, turn, turn. I didn't turn, but it's up there. We should be able to pitch up for par. Here's shot number two again. We're outside a circle, so we got to use a fuse. There's another tree that fell. It looks like it's on the tee pad too. Well, we'll see when we get over there. Do a little stepper. Oh shoot, that tree fell too. <laughs> Thank gosh that I missed the basket. Oh, got close. But that's par. Still puts us only two over. So as you can see, look at this tree. How close it got to the basket. Thankfully, the basket is okay. We just put these in this year. But wow. We had a really couple windy days, and trees are everywhere. I'll show you the next tee pad here in a second. Okay, so here is hole number 17 tee pad. Not sure if we're going to be able to play from it, but we will see here in a second. Hole number 17, 422 feet. We are obviously in a bad situation here. The massive tree fell in our way. But you know what? This is a fun round. We will just go for it. I'm going to have to hit this gap though. Not my normal gap. And let it turn over. <laughs> we got it through. Let's go see how that is. That drive ended up being pretty good. We were pretty far up here. A nice gap to try to hit here too, as long as I don't shank it or anything. Just soft shot, like 15, and put on a little hyzer. <laughs> don't hit the tree. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh well, we'll be able to save part of there. So obviously I missed the gap here, but we should be able to do a stepper here with the fuse. If anything, we at least have the par. Get in there. Oh well, we are still plus two if I make that. All right, so let's go ahead and make this again there are trees everywhere on the ground all right so that's par here on 17 still plus two hole number 18 280 feet my sister doesn't like me pointing it out she lives in florida so she doesn't get the weather but look at those leaves that's just for you, Sarah. That's just for you. Again, 280 feet. Let it, hopefully it'll just be stable the whole way through. Oh, nope, I flipped it up. It's definitely stable, just the wrong line. Leave us a little bit of a bid. We're outside a circle, obviously, so we will step with the fuse. Oh, I thought I made it, but still par, keeping us at plus two. Again, it's a par, 
So we will be plus two for the round. But again, this is actually a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying this type of round. I might do more of these with the other disc. Let me know what disc you want to see, and I'll see if I have it or not. Hole number 19, 191. It goes to the right. This shot will determine if I'll finish even or not, I would say. Gonna have to just let it put enough on it to let it turn and not fade out. OB is the fence and anything pathway on the right. Oh no, that's not good. That may be terrible. Alright, so you're not going to be able to see a whole lot here. But I lucked out. I did not go OB. <laughs> I'd probably rather have been OB. But the basket, you're not going to be able to see it. But it's straight ahead. And I really don't have a whole lot of footing here. <laughs> oh, that's going to leave me a putt. <laughs> It went right over the basket though. Alright, so I did say that it's going to leave me a comebacker. I am inside circle it looks like though, so I will be putting with my putter. We shall see how this goes. If I could say par here, that'd be massive because then hopefully I can birdie birdie somehow. And at least finish even. That is the goal. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So that keeps me at a two over for the round. I don't like those putts. I don't like them at all. All right. So hole number 20, 180 feet. Just do a little light hyzer. If I ace this, this would be massive. But I haven't been able to ace this hole yet. I, that's why, because I always leave it really light. That will be a pretty big putt. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm in circle two, so I will jump with the fuse. I think I'm just outside the circle here, so we will go with the fuse here. There we go. I needed that because now I'm only one over. So that means next hole determines if you hit that even mark. All right, so. All right, so last hole, hole number 21, 277 feet, right between the two trees there, the one on the left and the one on the right. We'll just try to get it to stay stable. Get off the tree, please. Thank you. Ooh, that might be parked. We might have a chance to finish even. All right, well, unfortunately, I left myself a little short here. Thought I was a lot further up. Another circle two putt. So we'll have to do the fuse. So let's see if this fuse finishes the job for me. And make it to finish even. <laughs> it was a good bid though. Alright, so unfortunately... <laughs> I missed the putt to finish even. But this is still a par. So that puts me at a plus one to end around. But not too bad for a one disc challenge, views only. Thank you for coming by. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what disc you want me to do with this nest. I'll see if I have any. I have a decent amount of MVP disc craft. I have uh, disc mania, Innova, Innova, and 
Is that it? Yeah. Oh, and Trilogy, of course. So, I don't know why I didn't say that. Obviously, I had the fuse. But thanks for joining, and we will see you all later.